Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the simple V stitch in a double crochet. This is a great stitch for the beginner if you've uh, mastered your double crochet and you want to expand your repertoire a little bit. Uh, this is a great stitch to expand to. Uh, it's very simple and I am just going to Take that to the side. I the uh, scarf that you just saw there in the picture is actually my Hearts of Flutter scarf, and I used that V stitch to complete that scarf, and it was a lot of fun to do. So. Uh, the first thing you want to know is that if you are designing a pattern or you are adjusting a pattern that's using a v-stitch you are going to want to have your beginning chain um, to be in multiples of two so you're going to do an even number of chains to start and make this pattern work out correctly so um, I'm going to go ahead and chain 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So I have an even number of chains to start out with and I'm going to do two double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So I'm going to get this close here. So we're going to count uh, the chains away from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to do two double crochets into that chain. So yarn over and two double crochets. And for this pattern uh, you're going to be doing repetition. So it's two double crochets, skip your next chain or your next stitch, and then two double crochets in the next chain or the next stitch. So skip that next chain and two, oh I split that stitch there. no chain in between. You'll see here uh, they're right next to each other but you have that little gap from the chain that you skipped down here below but there's you're not chaining in between those double crochets. So skip the next chain, two double crochets in the next. Skip a chain two double crochets. And we're going to complete this all the way until the end last chain. So again, skip one chain, two double crochets. Okay, so you can see here that I have reached uh, close to the end here of my chain. Um, I have two chains left. So um, I'm going to, instead of doing two double crochets, remember at the beginning uh, of this row, or this um, uh, chain here at the beginning, is just one. I, those would count as your first double crochet, uh, those skipped chains at the beginning, and then we did two double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So we want our row to match on either side, so I'm going to skip that chain and I'm going to do one double crochet in that last chain. And remember that chain four at the beginning is my double crochet plus my skip chain, basically. So uh, at this point uh, I'm going to switch colors for my second row because I think that the color changes from row to row with the V stitch really sets that stitch off. Uh, you could also just do um, one color in all of your rows. It's still a nice stitch. Um, it will still look nice. Um, you can do two rows of this color, two rows of another color, whatever you desire for color. Um, but I want to really show you stitch definition 
since we're doing a tutorial. So I am going to switch to another color so that you can really see. So I'm going to pull in my new color at the end of that last double crochet and then turn. And uh, for your second row, what you're going to do here is you're going to chain three, which will count as the first double crochet. You're going to then work two double crochets just like you did on the last row, uh, but we're going to work them in between those two double crochets that were done in the same chain. So in this V part here, um, this little hole, we're going to work two double crochets. So normally, you know, we would work our double crochets in those top two loops. Uh, you know, we'd grab those, but we're not doing that. We're working it directly into the space in between the two double crochets that we worked. So again, uh, two double crochets in that first, um, first spot. Then we're going to skip the next two double crochets and we're going to work two double crochets in the next space in between the next two double crochets. And skip the next two double crochets and work two in that next space. And I'm going to keep doing that, skipping the next two, two double crochets in the next space. I'm going to continue doing that throughout this whole row until I get to the end. And when we get to the end, we're going to work two double crochets in that last set of two double crochets and that's going to bring me to that chain four from the beginning and I'm going to work a um, double crochet in the top of that chain three. All right, very good. So you can see here, and I'm going to turn it around so you can see it from that direction. Look at how pretty that is. It really sets those stitches off and when you change colors like that it's just fantastic. Um, it's a simple double crochet and you just took it to the next level. Just simply by changing up the pattern in which you're doing your double crochets you end up with the same stitch count. Um, you know that would have been the same as if I would have just done regular double crochets throughout this row and yet I have this lovely little piece of art here. So um, I'm going to continue on with row three and again you know we talked about um, changing colors. I'm, I'm showing it with the color changes so at the end of that last double crochet I'm going to pull in Cut that. And then turn. And then chain three. And really now we're just going to be repeating that row two throughout the entire pattern. So again, two double crochets in that space between the two double crochets of the previous row. Now what I did on my Hearts of Flutter scarf is I worked mine with rows of two. So I would do two rows of color A and then two rows of color B. And what that helped me do is I was able to carry the yarn instead of cutting it. I was able to just drop it at the end of a row and um, pick it up two rows later. And um, it would carry a little bit you know, so you would have that little bit of carry on the end, but 
I went ahead and did a single crochet around the entire scarf hiding that carry and it's a great way of um, getting the same effect of the color changes but not having a ton of ends to weave in so that's certainly another option for you to do that uh, if you would like um, but you can see here uh, it's just really a lovely lovely stitch has a see that nice V shape so it's really taking shape here and and looking very nice so uh, there you have uh, the basic V stitch with double crochet. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you. If uh, you'd like any other tutorials or if you like these and you would like to know when I post more, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get notified whenever I post a new tutorial. I also will be posting a tutorial for my Hearts of Flutter scarf for the heart fringe, so you can find that there as well. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have if you have any issues with the pattern or with the stitch. If you have any issues uh, figuring it out, please do a shout out to me and I'm happy to help in any way. So again, I hope this was helpful for you. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.